It's Bushido Team Bad Yugi's here, bringing you another uh, Troop Dupe Scoop format deck profile. And I lied, because this is actually my favorite deck of this format. Because this deck, Machines, plays every single thing that is, like, rememberable about this format. It plays the Triple Sidra, the Triple Trooper, two Cyber Phoenix, three Hydra Gedons, two Gravekeeper Spy. These are all your chumps for control and then pushing in for, like, medium damage while spending as little resources as possible. Cyber Phoenixes turn off your opponent's brain controls and snatch steals, just in case you couldn't really kill them. And then, you know, combine the Cyber Phoenix with the card troopers, and you'd be drawing off cards to get into your combo pieces that you need to seal the deal. Just awesome. Awesome deck. And we have one Sangan, one Morphing Jar, one Jinzo, the machine that never really was. I mean, it kind of is. You can use limiter removal on it, that's all that matters. And then, of course, Triple Risa. Like I said, this deck plays everything that's memorable about Troop Dupe Scoop format. Or rather, everything that's hated about Troop Dupe Scoop format. And then we have the Triple Brain Control. We have two dupes and the limiter. We play the confiscation. This is all about the hand control in this deck. It really is. You try to spend as little cards and gain as much hand as you can, while at the same time lowering the number of cards in your opponent's hand as much as possible. One heavy, one MST, one goats to keep you alive, one knock, one avarice, one snatch, and one prima. And then we have one call, one ring, one torrential, one mirror force. Very staple for this format. But then since it's machines, you also play triple dust shoot. And that, oh my gosh. This deck is just so crazy. Because you'd always be taking your best options out of your opponent's hand. Just so sick. This entire deck is sick. Like, this format is pretty fun. Like, people will argue, like, this is like, this sh like if, you're, if you just play this deck for the first time, you'll think this is like the absolute worst deck of the format. But I'm telling you right now, it's just, it's just hard to master. You gotta figure out how to pace out your hands, know when you want to activate everything. Make sure you don't accidentally, like, lose yourself out of the game by using the wrong resources at the wrong time. But hey, this is Fushido of Team Bad Yugi's, signing out.